Hello everybody and welcome to this week's segment of the Ray Bradbury Collection Miniature Showcase. My name is Gabriel and I am a reference librarian here at the Waukegan Public Library where we have the personal collection of Ray Bradbury that was donated to us at his passing. Um, uh, the collection is made up of many things, not only books, as I have shown you through the main showcase that we put on in, in August and then throughout these miniature showcase videos. But today I have two items that are non-books that are pretty cool. So let's get into it. Uh, the first item that I have right here is a film adaptation proposal for the book called The Ghosts of Forever by Ray Bradbury. Uh, the book was originally released in 1980 and then it looks like Ray Bradbury decided to uh, try to propose it to a studio in order to be a film. So as you can see, uh, these are very big pages and they're glossy, textured, uh, coded. And there are illustrations to go along with some of the uh, setting text. So this, is, this would be the introduction scene to this movie that Ray Bradbury imagined. Uh, but it's really cool. You can see the il illustrations were done by a uh, Joseph A. McNiani. And it's very cool to look at, even though this was never actually adapted into a film. Uh, there was many things like this that Ray worked on with uh, some of his illustrating partners and whatnot. So it's a really cool thing that we have here in our collection. This is probably the only copy of this that is in existence. Um, don't quote me on that. There might still be one at the studio that he proposed it to, but it's really definitely a, a cool piece to have, even though it was never actually adapted into a film. The other item that I have for you today is an original copy of an introduction that Ray Bradbury wrote in uh, 1966 for an edition of Fahrenheit 451. Um, he sent it in to the Simon & Schuster Publishing Company. As you can see here, it looks like he did it on a typewriter. And they, the editor then proofread it for him and made some uh, marks for him to correct whenever he had the final copy ready. But it is pretty cool here. You can see that this is some raw work of Ray Bradbury um, before it, without being filtered or anything like that. It's really cool to see. Um, there is a note enclosed with this from the Harold Madison, or Madison Company, to Mr. Ray Bradbury at his residence in Los Angeles. And it says, Dear Ray, enclosed is the original copy of the introduction to the new edition of Fahrenheit 451 which has just been returned to us by Simon & Schuster and which I thought would be an interesting document to have in your files. Yours, Don Congdon. Uh, this is uh, significant because uh, Don was his um, literary agent for quite some time and they had a personal relationship together. Um, but what he would do is basically help promote all of Ray Bradbury's works and get him deals to write other books and uh, whatnot. So. Both of these are very cool and uh, a valuable part of our collection here. And I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about them. There will be some pictures included with this video for your enjoyment. I hope you enjoyed the segment. I'll see you next week.